Yes. Samfara State politicians have been found out to be the owners of the mining operations and other high caliber Nigerians. At the very least, some of them are partners with the foreign firms that mine gold in Zamfara State. And this is a fact. The incentive for them is that the ongoing orgy of violence in and around Zamfara State has taken national attention from the illegality of mining natural resources in manners that violate the provisions of the Constitution about resource control. They possibly believe that while the nation deals with the violence they are sponsoring, no one will remember to put them on trial for their crimes. The violence has also allowed them to disseminate entire communities and scare the inhabitants away to allow for mining without having to pay compensation or other entitlements that host communities would have enjoyed. The killings they have deployed has, unfortunately, impacted in unexpected ways, or they might have been aware of these consequences, and their greed still allow them to put themselves above the over 180 million Nigerians that could be imperiled. The killings have snuffed life out of able-bodied farmers, especially the youths who would have grown food crops in the next farming season. It has also scared those still alive away from the region with the result that there would not be enough farmers around when the planting season begins. The general security outlook has been created in the entire region is such that those that could potentially invest in agriculture for the next farming season will be compelled to take decisions that will not be friendly to large-scale fruit production. The spread of these killers to other states will equally replicate these ugly prospects and outcomes in these places. If these killings persist in Nigeria, the entire country faces the prospect of food shortages that will result in increased food price. It is doubtful that Nigerians can absorb the resulting price shock given the ongoing economic restructuring. Such potential hike in food prices has been known to have caused upheavals in many countries of the world. It is an outcome we must avoid at all costs. If we allow things to get out of hand and to get to that stage, no part of Nigeria would be spared. At this point, we would like to remind Nigerians that the sponsorship of Boko Haram by some politicians in the time past was initially dismissed as con a conspiracy theory. But that was until key commanders of the terror groups were being arrested in the homes of the same politicians and being linked to important members of the political class. We also want to remind you that those empowered by these politicians later became estranged from those that commissioned them as assassins of political opponents. Today, Boko Haram is not only a Nigerian plague, but it is an international plague. They no longer respond even to those that allegedly first brought them together. It is on this note that we call on President Muhammad Buhari to take decisive actions against the alleged masterminders of politically motivated banditry, kidnapping, and the killings, wanton killings, going on in, in Zamfara State and other parts of the country. These alleged sponsors of the atrocities may be serving and former political office holders in Zamfara State and in the country to the extent that they threaten the peace of Nigeria the whole gamut of the applicable laws should be thrown against them. Thank you.